Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is structure and bonding. Uh, so far we have already discussed uh, ionic bonding. Uh, we have used dot and cross diagrams to illustrate ionic bonding and we have also uh, discussed uh, the giant ionic structures and the properties of ionic compounds. So we are going to discuss the second type of bond and this is covalent bond. So our number two is a covalent bonding and uh, we can say that covalent bonding uh, is the type of bonding uh, that exists between two or more nonmetals. Is the type of bonding that exists between two or more nonmetals through sharing of electrons, through sharing of outermost electrons. So we can say that. Uh, this is the type of bonding uh, formed in two or more nonmetals. So this one is commonly nonmetals only. Uh, nonmetals are uh, through sharing of electrons and on this we'll find that uh, for those nonmetals that uh, do not have a stable electron arrangement uh, they can bond together by sharing their outermost electrons in such a way that they gain stability so they gain stability by sharing electrons amongst themselves so here there is no transfer of electrons. There is no loss or gain here, but there is sharing of, uh, of electrons. And you can say that uh, when sharing of electrons is done between a few, a few atoms, This constitutes a molecule. So if there is sharing of electrons between just a few atoms, not a very big number, uh, then we have a molecule. So we can even define a molecule and say that a molecule is made up of two or more atoms of the same or different elements. A molecule is made up of two or more atoms of the same or different nonmetals bonded covalently or having covalent bonds between them. Two or more atoms of the same, they can either be the same or different nonmetals, but they must be bonded covalently for them to constitute a molecule. Uh, I want us to take uh, an example of one, a hydrogen molecule that is written as H2 and that hydrogen molecule or H2 is made of two hydrogen atoms. So two hydrogen atoms uh, when combined together they form a, a hydrogen uh, molecule. So in this uh, assuming that this is a hydrogen atom, a hydrogen atom has only one electron. 
So if you combine it with another hydrogen atom, also with one electron, it's a hydrogen atom, another hydrogen atom. So we are saying that uh, a hydrogen atom has one electron. So it is not stable. It needs another electron so that it can attain a duplet. An electron arrangement of two is what you are calling a duplet, which is stable. The other hydrogen atom, the same. It has only one electron. So it is not stable. It needs another electron. So what will happen is that the two atoms will come together and then they will share the electrons. So they will share the one, two electrons so that they attain a stable duplet. So in this case, they will come together and they will overlap. They will come together, overlap, such that the two electrons that were there, they are shared between them. So that this atom is stable because it has two. The other one is stable because it has two. So that's what we are calling through sharing of electrons. So it's through sharing of electrons. So whatever has been formed here is now a hydrogen molecule, which is H2. It's H2 because it's made of two atoms. Then where is the covalent bond? The covalent bond is where the sharing is happening. So that is where the covalent bond is. The covalent bond is where there is the shared pair of electrons. Where there is a shared pair of electrons, there is a covalent bond. And this one can also be represented as H, covalent bond H. So that's a covalent bond. And in that we can say that uh, uh, wherever there is a shared pair of electrons, wherever there is a shared pair of electrons, it constitutes a covalent bond. If there is only one pair, that's one covalent bond. If there are two pairs, those are two covalent bonds. So here, there is only one pair of electrons. And that is what you are indicating as a covalent bond here between a hydrogen and another hydrogen. Uh, we can also have uh, another example of uh, oxygen molecule, which is the same as oxygen gas. And this is O2. And that is O2. And uh, this is made up of two oxygen atoms. An oxygen atom and another oxygen atom. So here there was one electron, one electron in each. So oxygen molecule will have an oxygen atom O. An oxygen atom is 2, 6, so we only show uh, the outermost electrons here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only the outermost electrons are shown because they are the ones used in bonding the valence electrons. So you have plus another oxygen. O. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is also O. Two, six. So we are saying that uh, this oxygen atom needs two electrons here to be stable. This one also needs two to be stable. So the two will come together and they will share. This one will share two with this and this one will share two with this. 
so that this one gets the two it needs and this one gets the two it needs. So the diagram will be as shown. So you'll have O and O. That's the oxygen. So you're saying that each will bring two for sharing. So that means four electrons will be shared, two from here, two from there. And then the remaining unshared will be four because only two have been shared, leaving behind four. And the other one we are left with also four. So six minus two, you get four. So the minus two is the one that has gone into the sharing. So if you count the total, the total is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for this one. And for the other one is also eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is now the oxygen molecule, which is O2. And there are two pairs of electrons shared. So these are double covalent bond. So these are double covalent bond. So every pair, one bond. Every pair, one bond. So this is O, O, and then two covalent bonds. That's the way to, to show that. So a point to note on the oxygen, or a point to note when illustrating covalent bonds, we only show the outermost electrons. We only show the outermost electrons because because they are the ones involved in bonding they are the ones involved in bonding so that's why we are saying that uh, uh, we only show the outermost electrons. We are not showing the two. We are showing the six. We are not showing the two. We are showing the six. The two is never affected. It's already inside there. So at that point, we'll have an assignment. So the first question, using a dot and cross diagram, show bonding in a nitrogen molecule and b water and then question number two what is covalent uh, bonding what is covalent uh, bonding so we'll stop there until the next lesson goodbye <music>